Hello, welcome to Food Safety Fridays. My name is Simon Timpley from the International Food Safety and Quality Network. And today our special guest is Anthony Hanno from Meta Toledo. Uh, don't be confused because on the uh, promotions it was Robert Rogers, but we've got an able uh, representative today. Welcome, Anthony. How are you doing? Hey, nice to meet you. Um, all good over here. How are you? Very very good. Well, we're looking forward to a good session. Uh, as is customary with these webinars, we always ask where you're joining from today, Anthony. So I'm actually in our facility in Tampa, Florida. Um, so weather is nice, you know, um, can't complain. Yeah. And uh, yeah, very nice. I'm in Manchester in the UK and it's raining for a change. So tell us where you're joining from in the chat, as usual. Uh, it's always great to see you. You know, Rashid from Pakistan, uh, Monica from Czechia, uh, uh, Rispa from Kenya. Wherever you're from, you're very welcome. I'm going to play the sponsors' ads now, and we'll be back uh, with Anthony for the presentation shortly. Okay, I'll hand you over to Anthony. I'll be back for the Q&A later, but for now, uh, ready to go. All right, so hey again, everyone. Um, my name is Hanno Anthony. I'm the product line manager for our vision inspection solutions at Metla Toledo. Um, and today we're gonna look at industrialized vision and focus on 100% label inspection. Um, and hey, just to say a few words, um, since I see obviously we are from many different locations um, here in terms of the attendees, Vision especially has um, different locations in the world. Our global Vision headquarters is in uh, Germany. It's in the north by Hanover. Um, and we do in-house research there, development, manufacturing, as well as training and testing. Um, this actually originally where I'm from. I am German. So, um, yeah, you're going to hear a bit of a funny accent every now and then. So bear with me. <laughs> and now I'm actually in Florida, as you can see here in Lutz, which is by Tampa or Orlando. Um, and we have a completely new facility here um, where we do as well in-house manufacturing um, for vision, med detection, x-ray and check weighing. And we do comprehensive training and testing, and we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. But again, um, today we want to focus on the importance of automated inspections, right? Um, why it is so important to have label inspection fully automated and, and industrialized versus doing manual spot checks. 
Then we're going to dive a little bit into some of the key application um, key applications, and I'm going to show some examples of um, um, that we see in the food industry as well as in some cosmetics areas. But of course, there are multiple different um, scenarios. But just to give you an idea of um, what we are talking about and how this may apply to your business or to your industry. Then we're going to look at our label inspection portfolio, so Metla Toledo, and to give you an idea of how some of the solutions look like that may apply to you and um, that we use to, to solve um, some of your issues and obstacles, um, and as well as some of our combination solutions, and how we integrate vision with other technologies to ensure um, contaminants and, and label issues are prevented in the first place. Lastly, we're going to look at software, connectivity, and, and some of the service support um, that helps you um, kind of move forward with your products and don't um, incur any, any risks and, and errors. So first of all, why is automated label inspection important? Um, one of the key things really here is that we see stricter quality management requirements that drive automation, especially in the food industry. All food producers print or label their products, of course, because in most cases it is required um, and needs to be standardized. Um, but still, many companies rely on manual spot checks to prevent some of the label issues. And as you can see in the bottom here, focus a little bit on these labels. And um, if you see on the top that label, you can obviously see it's um, vastly skewed. So it's very simple to say, okay, this is a label that is not a good product. Um, so we want to kick it out and make sure this doesn't happen again. But then already in the second row, it gets a little more challenging, right? Um, you see a small tear on the left, and then in the third line, it gets even smaller. So now imagine these products flying through your production line at 500 or 1,000 parts per minute, right? So it really gets nearly impossible for, um, for a, an operator or a human to do manual spot checks and ensure your product is um, correctly labeled, but also like from a brand side and um, perfectly labeled so your customers get the best experience out of it. And then really to emphasize the importance here is that 20% of all product recalls are still from missing wrong or incomplete product labeling. So it is a quite significant portion and we're gonna look at that, why, it is and why that is so significant in just a second. And for that reason, retailers they increasingly demand more strict requirements and processes from um, their suppliers to prevent these label issues to happen in the first place. Oh, and one thing we didn't mention, um, if you have questions, we're gonna address them in the end. Um, we also have um, technical support with us, um, an application specialist for any technical questions that you may have, but we're gonna look at them in the end. We should have about 15 minutes for questions and answers. So um, yeah, stay with me. So why choose label inspection in the first place? As you can see here, um, there's many different reasons why product products get recalled, um, but still up to 18% of recalls have happened to mislabeling and undeclared, undeclared allergens. Um, and all this could be prevented with um, a simple or sophisticated vision inspection system. Um, and as you can see here, I really wanted to highlight in the US, this is US um, based, um, the average recall is about $10 million, right? So customers often come to us after they had a recall because they realize how expensive it can get for them. And it could be prevented with a inspection systems as cheap as five to ten thousand dollars versus of course there are some complex ones that we're going to look at later as well but for very little money you can prevent some of these issues mislabeling you see up six percent undeclared allergens you know peanut allergies is a, probably the most popular one right could easily be detected and prevented so how do mislabeling and defects happen in the first place? Um, as you can see here, some of the root causes for labeling issues are operator issues, right? Operators retrieve the wrong label set um, 
or mislabeling happens to the product changeover. You know, especially in the food industry, we run multiple different products through the production lines and have multiple changeovers throughout the day. And it can easily happen that the wrong label is, is selected or applied um, or the label reels are incorrectly loaded. And in addition to that, we have equipment malfunction. So there's wrinkles or torn labels that we want to prevent. And that is obviously more significant depending on the industry, especially cosmetics. Is, it's extremely important for the customers that they have perfect labels, perfect products, because they represent the quality of the product that the customer experiences. In addition, um, we see quite a lot of ink smudging from printers, right? Um, um, empty inkjet um, or overprinting, which can cause, of course, um, um, issues with the, the, the appearance, but also barcodes cannot be read. And it can be um, a critical issue, especially in the farm industry, when you need to be able to retract um, the product and know where it came from at what time um, and so on. Some of the corrective actions that are currently in place as I mentioned, in many companies, there's still manual spot checks, but 100% um, inspection is just not possible at these high throughputs. And we do see quite some human error, as you can imagine. And for all of you who have been in production lines, if someone looks at labels for eight hours a day, um, it, is, it is quite impossible to, to stay focused the whole time and pick out every single product. So automated and scalable solutions really need to support product quality, protect your brand, and help boost your productivity. So this is quite a nice chart, I thought. Why choose a vision inspection system, right? Um, because label mix-up increases the cost of rework and potentially damages your brand. So the sooner you detect an error, you can you have a easier way and a less cost intensive way to actually make up for it. So ideally you have a machine vision system that detects it in the first place because already if it's in the factory before the package, it already requires rework, right? So that is already um, gonna cost you in productivity. If it happens during distribution, there are additional recovery costs that incur. And if it's at the retailer, your contracts may even include penalties. You have to pay fees, costs of returns, damages, and so on. And of course, if it's with the end customer, there will be a recall, very likely. You have refund costs and your brand may take a big damage or even incur a lawsuit, depending on what happens and how severe it is. So yeah, here really, as a summary, we want to minimize rework and reduce waste. And here, as a summary, food producers have many different flavors and recipes. We have multiple package, package sizes, frequent product changeovers, and the pain point, points that we want to address. Is the right label applied? Is the print quality good? Is the printed data on the product readable? Is the product, the printed information on the product correct? And of course, the goal is to improve efficiency, minimize rework, and reduce waste mitigate costly recalls and increase the brand and consumer protection. So here, um, a little bit about the legal requirements and that's something we're not gonna dive too much into because there are different requirements in different countries, of course, um, across the globe, these become increasingly important and the legal requirements determine what information must appear on your products and the processes a producer must comply with. So depending on the region you are from, I encourage you to look up some of these requirements. In most cases, you will need, of course, the food name, country of origin, the quantity, nutrition facts and ingredients on it. And then expiration date, of course, is common in, in the Western world and, and verification of labels is also increasingly required. But again, depending on where you're from, um, BR, CGS, or IFS, Food7 will be um, what you should be looking into to ensure you comply with the local regulations and requirements. 
So now we want to look at some of the key applications um, to really emphasize on what we are talking about, what products um, we are looking at and, and how some of these label issues occur and look like. This will give you a better idea um, of kind of some of the things that I've just mentioned and possibly you're going to um, see some of or similar products to what you have in your facility. Key for vision is the inspection capabilities. Um, with vision, we um, inspect solutions to verify every package is top quality. Um, as you can see on the left, we do label data inspections. We do 1D and 2D, 2D barcode inspections, with human readable codes for label mix-up prevention. In addition to label data, we do label quality inspections. So we look at the graphical ID and the label positioning if the label is skewed, if there's any wrinkles or folds, if there's multi-labeling, or if the print quality is bad. And then lastly as well, while we're doing that, we're also doing cap inspections. So we inspect whether or not the, the cap is present or absent. We look at the cap color, skew closure, or if the temp event is present or correctly applied. Here, a little bit of a more detailed overview and to address some of the key concerns for manufacturers. Um, as well on here on the top, you see label data versus on the bottom label quality. So we look at ingredients and allergens on the top left. We look for absence and presence for certain graphical identifiers or certain values. We look at the barcode, the lot and the badge code and the 2D code. And here really emphasizing that we can do these with products running through production lines up to 500 parts per minute, 1,000 parts per minute, and we've even seen some can lines going up to 15 to 2,000 parts per minute. And then in the bottom, you see the label quality. You look at wrinkles, folds, the positioning of the label, if it's double labeled, or the orientation of the label. And how these look actually on different products, we're going to look at now. Um, as you can see here, we verify ID, 1D one ID, one and 2D barcodes um, on the product. On the left, you see a perfectly um, good product. This is the correct code, and we set it up and program it into our vision inspection machine, and we verify against it. On the right, you see the product that is inspected, the codes that are, it is compared to is wrong, so we can detect it right away when it runs through our line and kick it out and then customers we can even do a hard line stop right away or we can adjust um, on the fly here to also further enhance brand protection and avoid recalls we use our vision inspection issues uh, vision inspection um, solutions to detect other issues like mislabeling here in the front and back where you can see the chili dressing is in the back and it's actually a herb dressing in the front. So that happens more often than you can imagine um, that the flavors and the allergens are actually missing on it um, or due to the fact that it's the wrong label, they're not listed at all. We have a wrong printed lot code due to mislabeling. The tamper band on the top is incorrect or there's a tear in the front of the label. All these things can be detected and depending on um, how high your thresholds are for different um, label issues, we can sense it, make our machine more sensitive to reject more or less product depending on your requirements. Here, you can we want to focus on some of the key design elements against the programmed label. On the left, again, we have a correct label that is designed and set up in our vision inspection system, and on the right, we see a wrong label. This one has a duplicated label detected on the right, as well as a tear um, on the left. We would um, stop the line or we would kick out the product depending on your requirements. This is also a, a, a nice focus on the cap. There's a lot of companies who have labels on their product and run round product. They want to inspect the cap, whether or not the, the cap is um, perfectly and positioned on the product. As you can see on the left, we have a good product again, which we compare against. 
And then the first one, we have the wrong cap color, which we can inspect with our color cameras. We have the um, tamper band um, missing or incorrectly applied. And then the missing cap on the right, which is obviously one of the easiest inspections, um, absence and presence. Now we kind of want to dive into some of the um, products on, in the cosmetic world. Um, we have enhanced capabilities to cover the labels and label data and label quality here as well. Um, again, you see one and 2D barcodes here. You see the lot and date code. Um, and of course, on the um, quality inspection, you see on the white and white, it's a little more difficult to see, but the label is scoot to the left. And then there's a wrinkle on the right. So these really are some of the key um, topics that we that we address, and they account for about 80% of all inspections that are required by customers in general that we see. So um, fairly fairly simple um, inspections that can easily be prevented or prevent um, some of the recalls that we see in our markets. Again, highlighting some of the, the product data on each pack package. I think um, you guys got the idea, but just emphasizing it here, what that means, lot code and M1D, 2D barcodes. And again, just to mention, we always compare against a good product and we can easily highlight whether or not the product that went through it is actually the correct one. Here, same thing, wrong label is applied on the left. As you can see, different color different product, label skew in the middle, label wrinkle on the right. And then lastly, as well on these caps, we can detect for the cap in terms of cap skew and cap color. We can do that um, in multiple ways, depending on your lines. We can do that already packaged, counted, and we're gonna look at that in just a second. Lastly, one of the things that we do is seal inspection. Um, and that's, an, that's quite an interesting one because we get these questions multiple times. So how does this really work? Um, we inspect the sealing surface here for contaminants. And that is, that is a key word um, to understand because we don't inspect for a vacuum seal, which we are often re um, asked about. And the problem is with vision, it's always about a contrast difference um, in the package. So as you can see, this is a transparent foil. Um, if you think about vacuum seal, there could be the tiniest air bubbles that a vision inspection system will not be able to see, especially if the product runs 500 parts or 1,000 parts per minute, right? But if we have contaminants, as you can see on the right, and we have a contrast difference in the seal, that is something we can inspect for, even on really fast throughputs, right? But again, an air bubble that has no contrast difference and that is not even visible to your eye when you stare at it for five minutes, <laughs> that is nothing we, we will be um, taking on just because the chance of success to reliably and consistency, consistently and provide you with a, a correct reject is nearly impossible. But again, key here as well is that it's um, a transparent foil, right? As you can imagine, if um, the package is closed with like um, an entire label and we can't look and see any of the co contaminants um, with the camera, then um, that is also um, not an option. But normal contaminants, as you can see on the right, are definitely an option. One of the last things as well is we do custom inspections. So we have an applications team to help to develop um, customer specific inspections. So here on the left, you can see one examples where we are specifying the quantity of the um, product in the container. And we are also checking for the color in multiples or at all at once. So we can tell whether or not the wrong, um, the wrong bottles are in the, in the package, right? If, if they have the right color, these are um, unique solutions that we can inspect for. Um, and on the on the right, you see a second example where you 
where we verify the thread quality on the plastic bottles in terms of formation. And we also do sidewall integrity checks of our containers so we can check if there's any contaminants um, in the bottle. And of course, again, here it is, it is key that when we look for contaminants in a bottle, it has to be transparent, right? Translucent already makes it more challenging. The better the contrast we see, um, the better of a chance of success we have. Um, and our applications team here is always doing the testing. So what I always encourage you is um, get in contact, show us what kind of issues you're looking for. And we do free testing on site in one of our production or testing facilities in the US, in Europe. Um, and then you get a test result. It's all for free. So you know exactly what you're getting and um, what kind of return on your investment you will have in the end. So now we're looking at some of our um, solutions, as I mentioned, to, to give you an idea um, what um, systems we have to detect these issues. Um, and um, then we're going to look at some of the combination systems. But first, here, as you can see, our product portfolio, these are flexible systems. So they suit every application and installation needs. Um, depending on your product line, depending on your industry, we start with simple smart cameras on the left, and we go all the way up to a highly sophisticated inspection system on the right. And these really range from $5,000 to up to three four hundred thousand dollars depending on how many cameras you need is it a single smart camera or is it 15 to 25 pc based cameras so it really covers the full spectrum of your inspection needs um, and depending on how fast you run how many lines you you have we provide you with a recommendation to best suit your needs and to make sure um, you don't need any um, or you won't have any recalls that can obviously be as mentioned extremely cost intensive So first of all, um, we want to point out that we support all label orientations, right? And the capability to inspect the products and the labels from all directions, because of course, the label cannot be applied on the top, on the side, on the front, on the bottom. So we have to inspect it from any way you may position your labels, um, whether or not the product is round so or oriented. So oriented means the product is always presented in the same way. As you can imagine, if we inspect for one label only on the front um, and we have one camera in place, we have to make sure the label is actually presented to the camera, right? Um, but for those of you who, for instance, run bottles that are unoriented, which means we never know exactly where the label or the barcode is going to show up, we have 360 inspection um, solutions, as you can see on the right. So we can inspect the label no matter how it is presented on your conveyor. We have the top-down version on, as you can see here, we have side cameras and we have a bottom camera. We can either use um, an area scan camera where we would need um, material handling like side grips, yes, or as you can see here, we have line scan cameras. So we would need only a small gap in your conveyor to um, inspect for the entire label. Um, but we talk to that in just a second. Here you see one of the um, smart cameras that we have, maybe our um, most efficient and, and cost-effective solutions. Um, we inspect 100% of your labels um, and we can easily add it to your existing line and conveyor. Um, we also provide an integration frame with it if that is required, should we ever determine um, that there's too many vib vibrations in place or for whatever reason. But yes, we can easily integrate them, inspect for the labels, either one camera, two, three, depending how many you will need. These are super easily adaptable, integratable, and extremely cost effective. Of course, we provide compliance support depending on where you're from for IFS and BRCGS, um, and with the key benefit of reducing waste and to prevent recalls as stated before. Now, this is our smart camera um, solution for flat packs. We call it V13. And um, really quickly to point out, smart camera means that the intelligence and the processing happens in the camera itself. The difference to the PC-based cameras where you have 
an entire PC doing the processing. So you have more power behind it. You can do more inspections. It's getting more complex for complex um, inspection solutions. Um, you just have a more powerful set that you can apply to tool sets. Um, and we're going to look at them in just a second. But again, here, as you can see, um, this is our um, V13. We have a minor gap in the conveyor. You see, it is extremely um, space effective. We usually provide it with a conveyor. Um, there are two conveyors actually involved, um, but technically we could also integrate it if you should or should the customer have a, a gap in the conveyor. That's something that would um, require some engineering work, but, but we would be able to do it. We run this with up to 300 parts per minute. Um, it's extremely effective and efficient. Um, and it has flexible camera options for additional quality, con quality control. And um, yeah, we can reject based on um, your existing reject options or provide rejects um, on our own. So this is a V15. That is our 360 degree system which means it can inspect round products. As you can see on the right, it is a 300 degree inspection head. It has six camera sensors in there. So you run your product through it. It easily moves over your existing line. So you, you don't need a conveyor with it. And the product will be inspected from all orientations. Again, it has smart cameras in it. Um, it has a digital position indicator, so you know exactly where your product is going to be, if it's off or any other way, and we can simply reject it based on your reject, as, as mentioned, or on ours. And again, just to point out and emphasize here, it really does not matter how the product is presented, um, where the barcode is, where the label is, where the cap is, all that can be inspected um, with this inspection solution. And we can even add additional cameras for a bottom inspection or another top inspection and just um, combine these systems and um, adjust and navigate them through, through one HMI, so one control point. Now, um, we're looking at our PC-based solutions. Just for you as a reference, again, PC-based means there is a PC involved um, here. This means this is our advanced products. This is again for oriented lines. Um, the difference with smart cameras again is you have a bit of a more powerful option. So as soon as let's say you have a very complex inspections, let's say you look for tiny wrinkles um, that really require more processing power to detect, we move up to our advanced inspection line. And um, here we use um, these PC-based bars like cameras. We use an integration frame. Um, to avoid vibrations, run oriented products through it from all sides. We basically can add as many cameras as required um, as the PC can process all these images in, in super fast speeds. As you can see here, we run up to a thousand parts per minute. But again, we've even seen 1500 or 2000, even though most um, use cases, we, we don't have to go that high. But just as for, for your reference, um, speed is usually not the problem for vision, um, and um, yeah, that is that's usually the the least um, that we are worried about. The, the biggest key for us is that we have a good contrast. Um, that it's, for instance, not a white on white error that is very difficult to see. Contrast for vision is always key. For this one as well, the, you see the the rapid integration frame here, just to point out, it's very flexible. We can adjust it to your line of needs. We can position the cameras wherever we need. Um, that's what really makes this design um, truly, um, yeah, interesting for most of our customers. Here is a V35. It is as well a 360 degree inspection system. As you can see, it looks a bit different to the one we just looked at. Again, it is PC based. Um, so we inspect round products here and have um, more options. For instance, we have automatically adjustable cameras. So they already move with a motor um, by itself. We also put this 
the system easily over your um, production line um, and inspect from all directions. We are a little more flexible when it comes to the product sizes because we have XL versions. Let's say you have really big um, gallon bottles or something. We would likely move to this system because it's adjustable in size um, and we can run higher throughputs to it with our um, CIFCOR software, different tool sets, a little more sophisticated depending on um, if you have very complex inspections. This one is our modular design. And um, this is our most advanced solution. As you can see, it, it looks already a little um, complex. Um, as you can see, it is completely sheltered from light. We have up to 20 cameras in the system um, for um, different contamination checks. What we do with that is, for instance, we look at the sidewall of bottles. We look for different contaminants. We look at the caps. We do everything at the same time. Um, as you can see here, product presentation is key. We can detect product contamination as small as 0.1 tapi for a top quality product. Um, this is really um, where it gets really expensive, of course. The more cameras you need, um, the more expensive it gets. But it's a truly real-time quality control. And um, yeah, if, you, if you're in need of highly sophisticated solutions, we can provide it. That is our, ours, always our key message from very simple inspections to highly sophisticated with advanced product handling, um, where we do the product tracking, the product handling options, and site grips. Um, we can do it um, throughout the entire scope. And then here, lastly, our V33 flat pack, as well a TC-based um, solution here for flat packages, right? You see, again, we have a gap in the conveyor here where we look through with a line scan camera. Um, different, again, you have higher throughputs with um, PC-based cameras. Um, and for instance, if you have a um, label on the bottom of your product, this is what we would be using. Um, line scan just means you put multiple images together while they they run through um so you can put them to, together in the end and inspect the entire label through a very tiny gap in the conveyor okay so now um how do we determine in the first place what kind of product we want to go with right key here of course is um that we look for dry or wet environments at the customer side that's really key so before we come to the system setup it's important to clarify what production environment is involved to specify the products and the formats and to determine the performance or the respective production line. For these parameters, not only the requirements for the optical inspection equipment will be derived, but also the calculated parameters for the investment. So if you need a dry, like a, a solution for a dry environment, it's usually um, less expensive, of course, because it needs um, less engineering work than in a wet environment. Um, if your product is small to very large, as I just mentioned, there are different solutions for it. So that's always the first point for us to address and to determine. I'm not sure, we're not gonna dive too much into the different IP ratings, but just for reference, right? What does dry mean? What does water protected mean or wash down mean? Here we have kind of an idea for customers. Dry means, right, it's cleaning, it's just with a wipe down. So we don't use big water jets um, or caustic materials. We call it IP54, or it is that is the general rating, right? Um, and then on the right, we do IP65 as well for water protected. So it's open or closed food packages um, and yeah, regular cleaning with water and stainless steel and usually plastic components are used. Um, in these are usually our standards for our camera equipment that we provide um, in addition to <clears throat> our other systems but for some of our customers in the meat or in the dairy industry we also do ip69 but they usually are um, engineered to order so they require a bit of engineering work and are not standard but again the message from us we do cover it if it is a requirement if it's um, a complexity that you have that you need we we will offer you a solution um, again it is not standard so it will take a bit more time um, to customize your solution, but hey, we do it um, and it is possible. So that's just as a general reference. 
So with like with anything, um, vision often comes in combination with other inspection solutions. So we want to look at that uh, more briefly, um, especially since cameras can easily be added to your um, production lines where you already have different um, um, solutions already in place, even either from other companies or from us. Um, and we want to point out some of the, the key benefits that you get with it. Um, so the benefits of some of the combination solution is you reduce the total cost of ownership, right? So you have one selection configuration partner for administration and project setup. So, and you have a single technician who basically services both technologies or all your technologies. Let's say he is familiar with the vision systems with your checkware, metal detector or x-ray. So you only have to get one person in house to set up everything and to maintain everything. Should you have any other problems, he can just fix it on the fly. Um, so that's really total cost of ownership where we say that is a key benefit to adding these cameras to existing systems. Um, and yeah, save you some money, save you some time and um, do your performance verifications. In addition, um, we have space saving as a, as a key differentiator, right? Um, space and production lines is always very critical. So the compact designs that we offer, they have a very small um, footprint and um, they only have four feet and um, provide significant cost savings, right? We do offer product handling of um, options, um, transitions, transport, stability options. Here you see our check where um, combined with our vision systems. And um, this is, this saves you up to 25 and um, 24% in machine length as if you would use two systems actually. And um, so space saving is really critical for us, um, especially when you do two systems or even three systems as we just, as we're going to see in just a second. Here you see, um, we reduce total waste and avoid recalls. As mentioned before, we do efficient weighing with our check wear on the right here. And we have actually four cameras installed here from the top, from the sides and from the bottom. And you have a check wear and you can have different rechecked options either for the check wear alone, for the vision systems or for both. You have a very small footprint as mentioned and a low total cost of ownership. We want to point out here as well that the integration and you see here our V15, so our round inspection integration, um, they're all Metal Toledo standard both for hardware and software. So they're all in-house, um, they're all standardized solutions. So if you ever require or order one, they go through our standard process. So you have minimal lead times. Um, you have a standardized design, which has proven and um, is already in place in, in many facilities. You have one HMI. So you basically control the different technologies like the checkware, the vision systems and your metal detector or X-ray systems from one control point, and you have one person being able to operate everything from just one, um, yeah, monitor. Here you see um, an overview of all the different different solutions. Um, on the left, the combination systems with um, smart cameras and checkware. In the middle, you see for flat packs, so for um, packages where you do bottom inspection. And we have check weighing vision and our V13 bottom camera. And on the right, we have our round inspection that we combine with our different solutions as well for round products, as, as we have mentioned, right? Um, in case the products are unoriented, if we need to inspect from all directions, if we don't know how the product will be presented, where the label is, where the barcodes are, um, where the cap is, depending on, um, we can use these um, different options depending on your requirements. And again, we can do them standalone or in combination, whatever you may may require. Here, I just want to point out um, one of our triple combination systems, right? It's a really nice solution. As you can see in the, on the left, our smart cameras, then followed by our metal detector and then our check wear. Um, so it's actually a really nice and neat cost-saving solution with a small footprint. You have two reject bins, you don't need to, but you can have two or three if you want to reject based on the technology. And here, just like a little example and kind of, I like the picture here because you can see how it looks at one of our customers. 
Um, in Germany, actually, they run soup sauces um, through our 300 degree inspection head. Um, you see the lights we inspect with our six sensors from all sides um, to ensure that the product is, is good. Um, they check for, they have 170 products per minute and they do five product changeovers a day. And they were running into multiple issues um, doing their changeovers. So now um, we actually have um, not seen any issues at the customer side anymore. And they're very happy with our system. So just to give you an example, how it can look like. So just a few words now to software connectivity and then a small comment to service. And then we're gonna be um, going to our questions. Um, here, we wanna highlight on our software that one of the key things that we always tell customers that it is critical to be very easy to use, right? It's very intuitive. So an easy setup will be guaranteed with simple instructions to set up multiple labels. And we have a very intuitive interface, a standard dashboard with reports on the available smart cameras or PC-based cameras um, on the number of inspections and products. And for all those of you who are familiar with us, with Matla Toledo and may have already a checkware um, in place, um, the, the software is the same. So your operators will already be familiar with how it works and um, they don't have to relearn everything. It is quite user-friendly and um, yeah, quite intuitive. In terms of connectivity, as you can see here, we um, support various different interfaces, including Ethernet IP, field bus, and OPC UA um, to really support um, whatever you may need. If there's different requirements or different um, aspects, we can definitely um, look into it, but these are our standard options. And then we also provide a powerful software solution, ProdX, that basically extracts information and controls all lines. Um, and we are very happy to, to discuss these more in depth with you um, with our um, products and, and software and connectivity specialists. Um, but for obvious reasons, we won't be diving too much into these in this session. Um, yeah, lastly, we also do provide the full circle of project management startup and support, right? Um, we take the time to understand your application requirements. We propose hardware and software solutions tailored to your needs, and we use our in-house specialists to customize the entire system for your needs. Um, that is all pre-sales. And then for startup, we deliver the solution that is already pre-configured. So once it actually is in your line, all the inspection tools are already set up. So there won't be any work on your end, um, minimal workload and um, very limited um, startup time. We do provide on-site support and we help to deliver um, training to your to operators and provide after-sales support. So yeah, we do provide the whole end-to-end um, -end process support, but key for us is to provide a solution that will require minimum effort from your end have all the recipes for your different products already set up. So if you if you need something else, you can just copy and paste the recipe, make minor changes that are very intuitive so you won't even need us. Um, we want you to be self-sufficient, right? We want you to have the product um, installed that you are comfortable with, where you feel like your operators can, can do troubleshooting um, yourself. Um, and yeah, you don't require um, assistance from us for most of the tasks and, and new um, product setups. Lastly, um, the demo center and the application support is key for us. So we do live demonstrations in Europe or in the US um, of whatever solution you may need. What we always say is send us your, your product, send us your samples, good, bad product, what do you wanna test for? And we do free um, demonstrations, we do free testing, so again, you know exactly what you're getting. You, you're gonna see exactly what we can test for, what kind of success we have. And then after you see all the data, you can decide if the return on your investment is enough um, to, to actually um, consider our solution. Hey, yeah, this is actually really, really good. We kind of started a completely new, new very professional. So take advantage of it, right? There's 
no net negative to it. We obviously always say you can also come to Florida, especially in the winter, right? When it's when it's cold, wherever you guys are, it's it's a beautiful facility. You can see on site how your products run through our systems and if that is something you're interested in. But again, we can also do it online. Um, so yeah, always always recommending to take um chance of this opportunity. And then lastly, yeah, why Metla? Because we are basically a full solution provider, right? We have um, dedicated product specialists for all technologies. We do all the development in-house. All our systems are modular and we have experts for product handling, the systems themselves, troubleshooting. So you don't have to go to anyone else. Everything comes from Metla Toledo. You get standardized products, you get customized products, whatever you may need. And as we are a global player, you know, even in 10 years, we will still be there to support you, to support your equipment and provide and um, service. Yeah, and that brings me to our last point, um, which is service. As you can see here, we are really famous for our global reach and our local excellence. We have one of the largest service workforces in the industry with over 600 certified product inspection technicians. Um, we have a global service network in over 40 countries, enable short response times. So wherever you are, whatever you need, we will be able to provide very, very short um, turnaround times. We're globally standardized. So if you have multiple production facilities or different product lines all over the world, you have and you will get the same products. So we have a standardized service offering, digital documentation, certification, the whole scope of um, what you may need from a service perspective. Yeah, service as a key differentiator to meet your requirements. Um, our service product supports you throughout your entire product lifecycle in terms of uptime for support and repair, performance for maintenance and optimizations, and compliance, of course, and quality assurance and certification and expertise in terms of training and documentation. So yeah, with that being said, thank you so much um, for, for joining us today. I hope you get a bit of a round picture of Metla Toledo in general, and then as well, a better idea of um, label inspection and how it works, what the key changes are and what we do um, to prevent them in terms of our solutions for you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> I shall just get rid of the slides. Uh, if you could put your webcam back on and we were slightly out with the uh, timing. Uh, we didn't know who wasn't quite sure if it'd be 20 minutes, half an hour. In the end, it was 53 minutes. So, but we've still got time for questions. So, here's one from Mohammed. Um, are there false positives in this system? and? and how to validate the accuracy um, then check periodically that the system has not gone wrong. Yeah. So, so what we usually do is um, we provide um, thresholds or we ask customers to provide us with the thresholds, like what is a good product, what is a bad product? Um, and you can always test um, by running um, these thresholds through our system. And if should they ever not um, be rejected, you know something is off with the system, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah, it does. Um, another question from Mohammed: Is it necessary to build up a default bank to challenge the system from time to time? So similar question. Um, default bank, I'm not entirely sure what you mean. So every time a product gets rejected, we save all the images and technically you can always look at um, at the saved images to see what went wrong with the product. And if you, for instance, happen to, to determine that um, a product should have gone through, um, you can always adjust the sensitivities, right? Got you. Um, yeah. Got you. Uh, question from Ursula. Hanno, how is the label information loaded into the system for the checks to be done? Would it be able to check cartons of Punnets for fruit? Yeah. So what we usually do is, um, right, we look at the label, we take a picture of the perfect product, if it is a bottle, if it is a carton, whatever it might be. And then 
the label is um, saved and the recipe is set up in the system. So now you can just click on the recipe that's already happening in our lab. So once you get the, the product, it's already set up. So now if you run whatever it might be, whatever product, cartons, um, bottles, um, anything through it, and the recipe is clicked, we can reject whether or not against that good product. So everything is pre-configured. And yes, we can do cartons depending on the size. We need obviously a different solution, but yes, we can we can do it. Right. Uh, just noticed Robert Rogers in the chat. Great job, Hanno. He says uh, uh, that's fair uh, praise. Uh, another question from Mohammed: Are the system follow guidelines um, of validation computerized system CFR twenty one? Yeah. So yeah. what we do is, especially in pharma, we do um, um, qualification packages. So we do provide all of that. It really depends on um, what industry you're from and what you need. But we do provide that. Of course, it is a service topic um, installation, qualification, all that comes with with our offering. Um, if you need it, just mention it to whoever you talk to from our organization and we can provide these. Okay, a question from Marcia. Besides the label inspection, can the same equipment be adjusted or complemented for X-ray inspections looking for physical contaminants in the products or another set of equipment would be necessary? Uh, so, yes, so we, as I mentioned, right, we combine our systems. We have um, X-ray systems in-house. So we do combination systems with vision, check weighing, X-ray, and um, the whole palette. So we look for contaminants. We, we, what I always say is tell us what you're looking for. We test with all the options that we have, metal detectors for metal, of course, X-ray for, let's say, bones or plastics for with vision, right? We, we complement them um, with two systems, three or one, whatever you need, however accurate you want to detect your contaminants. Okay, makes sense. Uh, Steve, what languages are available on the electronic system? So all the common languages um, are um, available. I mean, they are numerous. I, I'm not going to start to to um, list them, but all European languages, um, even I, I want to say it's it's very very small spectrum, and I would be surprised if your language is not included. It's definitely English, Spanish, German. The the whole scope, right? Uh, there's going to be over, yeah, 20, 30, 40 plus languages. So don't be worried about that. Okay, and a question from Emmanuel. Uh, is it right for a product label to be on the cap of a product? Um, I mean, I, mean, I, I know I, I, I kind of mentioned it. I mean, usually there's codes on the on the um, cap, right? But an actual label, usually not. Um, but you see the, the wildest things in product packaging these days. <laughs> so yeah. I would not encourage you to do it. Usually it's codes that we look for. Um, yeah. Okay, and uh, one more question from Harish Kumar. If it's high or 100% accuracy, what is the ratio with false rejects? Um, I mean, that is really depending on the product and what you're looking for, right? Um, you determine the thresholds and we tell you how accurate we can detect it, right? If you yeah. want to just detect whether or not a label is on it, absent or present, 100% is very very likely um with no false rejects right but if you're looking for the tiniest wrinkle it might be a difference right that's why we provide you with the testing and then exactly a test report that will tell you exactly for your for your situation what we can provide you with okay and question from mohammed this system is it based on image analysis based on data set the larger the data set the more accuracy so it is not machine learning, if that is um, what you are referring to, right? So we don't learn based on new images provided. We do. We take a perfect picture of whatever you are looking for and then compare it against it. Got you. Okay. On that, we are we are done. Um, awesome. So thank you very much for your first time with the IFS Grand. Great job. Um, excellent awesome. presentation. 
excellent information and uh, we got through some questions. So, Hanno uh, and Tony from uh, Metal City Toledo, uh, welcome. Hope to have you back again in the future. Thank uh, you very much. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Have a nice weekend. You too. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Okay, the only thing to do now is just put your certificate in the sidebar. We'll be following up uh, within an hour or so with the slides, um, certificate, and uh, the recording, importantly. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed today. Um, we've got um, a webinar next Friday is about implementing SQF. So that should be interesting with Tony Connor. So have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for joining. Really appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.